I am doing this. Does it look a bit bad? That, look... that is shocking. It was, it's, it was worse than it was before. <laughs> oh my God, Gemma is so funny. So now let's get into what happened today. Okay. The whole them waking up in the morning and now there's new coupling and um, Paige and Jack saw the hands throughout the night. Whatever. So um, I kind of have a feeling, let me just talk about Paige and Jack's first because I feel like the whole episode really centered around them and the edit is this love story from maybe Jack's not being sure to him not being scared of losing her. I just feel like when someone decides to let go of you so easily i don't really care if jacks really 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 likes Paige. i just feel like he should feel the heat more she has made it so easy for him i feel like he's a little teeny bit threatened by jay that's why now he's telling her that he's into her because there's nothing wrong with someone trying to talk to someone telling you that they're interested in someone but it was the way he told her like crack on crack on he was telling her the same thing like oh get to know him like give him a chance now you're worried what is happening i feel like it's the competitiveness for him it's the fact that he wants to win for him that's how i feel though i might be wrong but i don't think he really does have feelings for Paige. maybe he does but all those other I tell you I care now, I'm worried about you sleeping in the bed. G guys, she's holding your hands. She's kissing you all through the day. You should be all right. You should be all right because she's a better person than I am. Because if it's someone like me and you are like, oh, crack on. I will so crack on. Whether I like him or not, I don't care. But the crack on, I will crack on. You will be cracked by the time I'm done. Because that's so, I'm sorry, like that whole thing for me. Not that I don't like them. I, I like, I like Paige. I don't trust Jax. Just say, man, I don't trust Jay. I feel like Paige is having to choose between two guys that are not worth it. Two guys that are just playing games. Two guys that their head is going to get so turned. It's going to be like WTF. That's how I feel. And she's saying, like, trying to make it seem like, oh, I'm so confused on the edits that they're giving. That's so wrong. The girl is not confused. She wants Jax. She has always wanted Jax. She is not confused. She now does not just want to turn down Jay. But I think at this stage, she should just turn him down. But the girls, if the girls are telling that get to know Jay too, they are seeing something that you, you're not seeing. Honestly, I really, 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 really do think that Paige should really, really make Jack sweat more. She's giving it to him too easy. He might really, really care about her. That could be true. Because sometimes that you don't know that you care about someone until you're about to lose them. You're like, oh my God, I really do care about this person. So that could be the situation. But in case it's not, she should let him know that he should not play with her. Because unless I play with her, he might not even have her there. Because he just played with her. He just literally gave you to someone as if you are a prize for an auction. That's all I have to say about that whole stuff. Then now let me talk about um the whole producers. I'm sure the producer got the three boys of Ekinsu. Because it makes no sense. Why is Jay, Davide, and, and Charlie talking about Ekinsu? And Jay, honestly, when um, Ekinsu talk about Jay, Jay really wants to pick Tasha. What is he doing? Because that's how I feel. If you really like Ekinsu, how do you just get put your airport on and just go to bed? Then you wake up the next morning, then you go to make a coffee, and then you're asking, you're talking too much when you drop the coffee. Is it the right coffee? Is it, does it look the same? Does it, guy, what is it? It's coffee. You've dropped the coffee. She's happy you gave her because Ekins is someone that even if you give her anything, oh, she's excited. Just let it go. Like, why are you talking so much about coffee? Like, seriously. I don't know. He's just giving me kind of the ick right now. And it's not even like I'm in the villa trying to get to know him. So it's kind of like that for me. Him um, talking to Tasha. Tasha. Oh, God. Another Tasha. Let me talk about Tasha and Andrew again. And I'm tired. It's like a broken record. Tasha. Tasha is playing this game. She knows that the guys are onto her. She wants them to say that they are wrong. She wants them. She plays this victim card so well. This girl is so good at playing victim. Like, if I ever want to play victim, I need to go to a school of Tasha to learn how to do it. I'm telling you because the girl is a professional. She's a pro. The way she does it, look at that me hugging her. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I know that you care about him, but maybe you don't care about him that much. I like the fact that they still told her the truth. But that me hugging her, and I was, look at that stage, because look, I was like, 
I'm not petty. You, you know what you're doing. That crocodile tears is not going to get to me. And I like that. Because really, like what kind of, what kind of, uh, you guys are misunderstanding. Uh, everybody is all about him. It's all about what about me. You're the one that is moving on. You're the one that showed that you don't care about him. So why should people not be checking out for him rather than you? You're the one that seems like you have his emotions all in your palm. You can squeeze it whenever you want. The guy went to talk to you and Andrew, I'm not going to talk to him. I'm going to give him space. Uh, can I talk to you? Andrew, you too. Get some respect for yourself. I'm not saying that if you like care about someone, you should not care about them. But sometimes you got to love yourself in a way whereby you're not going to. You see the way Davide is doing. Davide does care about Ekinsu. Really, the guy really does care about Ekinsu. But Ekinsu hurts his pride. Maybe at the beginning, he didn't care about Ekinsu. Let me even start there. Like that, that he was not sure because she was giving him too much. He does not like when someone is giving him too much. So when she was giving him too much, she was giving her, him the ick. So he didn't even get the chance to know, do I even like her really? Because he's feeling like, oh, this guy is all over me and I, I'm not feeling it because she's just all oh, gummy, gummy, gummy on me. She's like, you know what I mean? She's all about me and I don't, and I don't want that. So I get that. But I feel like now what happened is this. After she now left him, he now has the chance because he doesn't like someone full on. Maybe he even likes someone that is not that into him, that you know, that can meet him. Someone that he, when he's in the relationship with them, he can feel like, oh, if I mess up, I will lose her. She's not just all there so that he can put in a bit of work. But now the way it happened and everything, his pride is hot, like really, really hot. So even if I feel now that he does like her and they both still have a connection, I feel like he's never. I would like if he does, but I do think that David is never going to give Ekinsu another chance. He's not going to. If they ever get back to that, he's going to hurt her because he will want her to feel exactly the same pain. Because he feels like she mocked him. The guy loves himself. In this life, you need to have a good dose of self-love. David loves himself. Someone has messed up with him. Make him look like a mug on national TV. He's never going to let that slide. That's why whenever she gets choosing, his face goes down. Whenever he notices that she's being sad, he's a bit happy. Because it's kind of like, if he hurts her, I'm happy. Because she did that to me, I want to see her sweat. I want her to cry. I want her to regret that she ever did that to me. I want her, that's the kind of person that he is. Literally. He's that kind of ex that is like, Oh, now that we're done, I want you to suffer. I want you to, you know, that kind of people. You know, the guy that, okay, yeah, live your life. I live my life whatever is is what is he's not that kind of ex he wants her he wants her to suffer he wants her to regret ever doing that to him he wants her to do that that's what he wants and i feel like she's the kind of ex that is like okay if he didn't work her yeah we're fine but cool let me just go along because at the end of the day when she was when this guy jay was giving her everything that she wanted she was still talking to davide but yeah, they still talk, they still have a connection, but she was only and she could be asking Davide's question that you know that you shouldn't be asking and someone that you kind of showed that you had more interest towards, you know, something like that. Dami and India's dates. Those people, they are on a date and I'm cheesing. I'll, I'll, the chemistry uh, is given. Trust me, that chemistry... I feel, I don't know if this is the strongest chemistry I have seen on Love Island. Like that I believe. Like I know, yeah, there's some people that have been together and then they go out and then they marry. But in on the show that I believe. Like if they break up, I'm going to feel like maybe I don't have a good read on chemistry. So I want them to be together. Like I'm not talking about, I feel like they're going to be together the whole of the Love Island experience. But I mean, if they go out and they break up, I will be, I will kind of, I will really be shocked about that. I'm not going to lie because... When they are together, like, I am cheesing, like, I am smiling, like, I'm excited. Look at how excited they were for the date. I do feel like, I like the fact that they asked them for a date, but I just feel like, can you not tell them that they're going on the date so that they can dress up for the date? They're already dressed up to sit around, and then you now tell them, it makes things easy, though, for them, like, making choice of what to wear. They already want what they needed to wear. They are so cute. Like, honestly, they are just so cute. I love them. That's all I'm going to say about them. I love them. And... I watched a bit of After Sun, um, just the beginning part of Amber saying that um, they should have waited a little bit. Waited what? They were, already, they were going to tell you the next day, so what are they waiting for? I just feel like they should have told you guys. And honestly, maybe you should be happy that you don't have to go through seeing them all of it be like in your presence. Because, yeah, what if now you now become like um, Jack's that you're feeling and start sharing? Now go. Tell me, I care about you. Or then it's just going to bring a lot of forever. To be honest, I just feel like... 
<laughs> the god of india and that me works over time because how did they just sweep away up the ob obstacles in one day for them to just have their time like proper love island like me is an opportunity for big drama honestly i don't get it but it's what it is and i'm excited about it that's that for um tonight episode please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow yeah bye